So today on the Rock Solid Golf Show, we're going to talk about what makes a ball go where it goes. So it's amazing to me when I when I teach somebody who's played the game for a long time, uh, and they hit a shot, and I say, uh, why do you think it went there? What do you think is causing you to do that shot, to hit that shot, you know, repeatedly? And uh, inevitably, they'll say something like, I'm coming up, or I moved my head, or I, I tried to swing too hard, or something with their hips, or something that, that probably doesn't have a direct effect on why you hit that shot. So let's take a look at that and, and let's examine what causes you to hit different shots. So when you look at it, the only thing that's ever gonna make your ball start in a certain direction is where your club face is pointed when you make contact with the ball. So wherever I have this club face pointed, at impact, when I make contact with the ball, the ball will start really close to wherever my club face is pointed. So I have an idea that, you know, slicers, because let's face it, most of the people that play golf curve the ball to the right. So I have the idea, I've got my big club in here. I have the idea that people do that because when they start playing, they start with a faulty grip. So grip is the number one influencer on where your club face is pointed. If I have my hands here and then I turn them in one direction or the other direction, it's gonna open and close the club face. So I have a theory that people that start the ball left, curve it right, when they started playing, they gripped it incorrectly and they hit balls for a while and when they made contact with the ball, the club face was open do that enough times and before long you'll figure out that if I want to square up this open club face the only way that I can do it is if I swing really far to the left so that I can get the club back to square when I hit it. So you can see there with a real open club face if I just take my front shoulder and go way low and make my right shoulder real high and kind of back up a little, which is this, the move that I see most people making, maybe not this exaggerated, it gets the club face back to square. But what happens is, because I'm swinging it so far to the left, I'm putting this sort of side spin on it. So people that do that tend to really curve longer clubs and maybe just pull shorter clubs. So their miss with a short iron might just be a straight pull. So just know that there's some things in your golf swing that while they're important, the most important thing is getting that club to the ball so it's starting online or it's starting in the direction you want it to start. And as I said, the main influencer on, influencer on club face is a grip. So if you have questions about how to get the club to the ball correctly, set up a time to come out uh, and we'll, we'll get you on the right path. Point of view, huh? I can't tell you how excited I am to announce uh, Game Golf as an addition to my teaching program here at Ledge Rock Golf Club. Uh, if you're not familiar with Game Golf, basically when you open up the box, it comes with these sensors that you insert into the top of the corresponding club. So one of these says D on it, which would be driver. One of them says 3W, 3 wood, you know, 7 iron, 8 iron, and so on and so on. And what it does is there's a sensor that you can wear on your belt, you could put in your pocket. And before you hit a shot, Tap the top of your club to the sensor, hit a shot, and Game Golf will track everything that happened during that shot. So when you're done with your round, you go back, plug it into the computer, and it tells you exactly what club you hit, exactly how far it went, and basically you can just see a, a snapshot of your entire round of golf. So why am I so excited about it? Well, the reason is when I ask people what they need to work on in their golf game, sometimes, and, and sometimes it's through no fault of their own, maybe they don't know what they need to work on. Sometimes people maybe play with uh, other people who are really good in some areas or really bad. So in other words, it gives me a clear picture of where your deficiencies are in your golf game. So I can just take a look and, and say, okay, well, it looks to me like, you know, this is the distance you're hitting your seven iron, but if you're trying to hit it this yardage, well, maybe that's not enough club. Or 
once we play enough rounds with it, you can see, okay, I'm missing 83% of my greens to the left, or I'm missing 60% of the time short. Uh, so it's really good information for me to have. Uh, I've got a program going on for the rest of the fall for nine hole playing lessons with Game Golf. Uh, it's $250. You set up a time, come out. I'll go out for nine holes with you. Put these in your clubs. We'll do all the shot tracking. I'll do a nice little report for you and it'll give us a lot of details as far as what part of your game you need to work on the most. So give me a call or email me and uh, set up a time to try Game Golf today.